welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video and happy new year i can't even actually believe that it is 2021 and christmas is over and it's time to be a healthy girl it's all came around very fast i have missed vlogging honestly quite a lot i had a really nice break over christmas i didn't really do anything on youtube um I'd like pre-scheduled videos, I didn't really shoot any content, I just had a really nice break to just chill, spend time with Jordan and Colby and relax and it was so nice, we had the nicest Christmas ever and we had a really nice couple of days around it as well. We've done so much to the house that has changed, we've had deliveries and today is Monday, it's my first day back in the swing of things and I've realised that I really should have fake tanned because I'm so pale. Um, I've also, I'm having like a bit of a skin issue, I don't really know what's going on, um, I think it's probably all the cheese and wine and just crap coming out my skin, that's probably what it is, I need to just face up to that, but I broke out in loads of spots on my chin, and then I, um, I put on like an acid, by the way, sorry, I keep touching my hair, but I've just washed it and it feels like too soft, um, I put on like this, not acid, but like a specific thing, can't remember what it's called, to sort your spots out, which I use all the time, and I think I've just put too much on, because I've been putting it on like every night, and it's definitely too much, and it's too harsh on my skin, so it's like burnt my chin, so it feels really sensitive, so I can't put foundation on it, which I don't want foundation anyway, but I couldn't do like my full skincare this morning, because it was really stinging, um, so I don't know if you can see that on camera, I've tried to cover up the spots, but they are there, but whatever, it's January, they're gonna go, I'm now on a health kick, like a serious health kick, and do you wanna come and say hello? No, I don't bark. Mr. Colby loved his first Christmas. He's barking at the villagers out the window. Did you have a good first Christmas? He did, he had a lovely time. Um, and yeah, we're ready for a new year. I'm excited, I've set new goals. I feel like this vlog is gonna be a very, a nice first weekly vlog for the first one of 2021 because we are gonna be getting back on track health-wise. We're gonna be planning, we're gonna be goal setting, we're gonna be vision boarding. We're really setting ourselves up for a new year and I'm excited for it. I've got a new planner, new planner inserts. Um, and yeah, like I said, we've got loads of home updates. Our new sofas came. We're going to be painting, probably not in this vlog because me and Jordan aren't going to paint. We're probably going to get someone in to do it. However, yeah, that is the plan. We are in tier four um, in the UK. So we're not really allowed to do anything. So me and Jordan are just going to use this time. Stop barking, Corby. Basically, tier four is essentially lockdown, but just a nicer way of saying it, in my opinion. But um, yeah, we're going to use this time to sort the house out, get really fit and healthy, and love our lives. This dress I'm wearing is like a little knit ribbed one from PLT, really cute. And I've just got on with <laughs> some tights, not that you can see, and boots because I'm just about to go and shoot some content with Alex. Um, and yeah, that is my plan for the day. Shoot content with Alex do some planning and organising and then tomorrow's big filming day. You'll see all this anyway because I'm going to bring you along with me. So yeah, longest intro ever. Welcome back to the weekly vlogs. Happy New Year. There's Jordan. And yeah, let's get into the video. Just to show you the dress a little bit better. It's like a little mini. I've just got it on with these tights. Um, and yeah, it's really soft, like a really soft knit rib material. Very nice and very comfortable um, for around the house. I really need to sort my hair out because this is like, I look like bloody Cindy Lou and Christmas is over. It's too like curly and soft, I don't like it. I'm going to sort it out, I need to put more bronzer on my face because I look see-through and then I'm off to shoot. Hello guys and happy Tuesday. I didn't end up speaking to you after our shot content yesterday. Um, I just had a really productive work day getting back into the swing of things um yeah just had a really good day just i feel like when you've been off for quite a while like you get like excited to get back into it and i was like so ready to get back into the swing of things so although i am out the loop of vlogging so like i forgot to pick the camera up on a lot of things so i'm gonna make a conscious effort to make sure i vlog as much as possible um when this vlog goes up obviously you will all know that the UK is now in yet another lockdown that was announced. I know Kobe, Kobe's not happy about it either. That was announced last night. I mean, what is there to say about it really? I just wanted to say that I hope that you're all okay. Try and stay 
as positive as you possibly can. I'm still going to be putting out videos, my weekly vlogs. I'm going to try and do more videos through the week. Talk about me with my highlighter. Um, my content on Instagram is still going to be the exact same. So I'm going to try and keep as much normality as possible to go into the new year and be positive and keep on working towards our goals and stuff. So I just wanted to say that quickly here now. And on topic for that, I wanted to show you my new diary planner inserts i think i mentioned them yesterday essentially um i talked about it on instagram and loads of people were asking so i thought this is a good place to show um so i've shown you this planner before which is from ha designs it's got my initials i'll leave it linked down below i honestly love this and it basically just comes empty and you buy all the inserts to like put whatever you want in it um so i thought i'd just show you what i've got in it so at the start i've got a monthly 2021 calendar as such and i get all of my prints from cross oh my god why can't i talk ever cross bow printables i'll leave them linked down below i found them on etsy and they're really good i got my ones last year from there and i've got them again this year because they just do everything that i want and they're quick and easy and the delivery time was really good so yeah cross bought printables um so the first let me find a blank page so the first like couple of pages of my diary are just um like the year the monthly year as such um which i'll obviously use to fill out stuff but it's we're now back in lockdown so i'm not really doing anything so they're very blank um and then the second section which i've got um, which I bought from Crossbow is a weekly planner. So basically it's the week on two pages um, But what I like about it is it hasn't got the set date. So it hasn't got like Monday the 4th, Tuesday the 5th It's just you write in the days like I don't know if that makes sense I'm really bad at explaining things, but you can see there potentially a bit better You can see that it's just Monday to Sunday So if for a week, you know, I'm on holiday, I don't use it. That's fine. You just do it as and when um i love this little section here where you can write like habits and then cross them off if you've done them each day so i've put for this week for example let me go this week i've got water three liters walk read gratitude and run um and i want to do them all of things every single day so i took them all off for monday which is good um and yeah i just really like the layout of that and you've got this week's goals at the top to-do list notes um yeah it's got everything i need and then my other section in it so for that what i'll do is on a sunday i'll sit and like plan out my week in that so i'll sit and think like what am i doing each day this week get all sorted right on my habits that's like my sunday job and then these things here which are daily to do's which is essentially a long list of things that you want to do it's got today's goals emails and calls notes and unfinished tasks i'll do them the night before so last night i sat and did today's um, and that's like my little thing that i do before bed i write my to-do list for the next day honestly i can't even tell you like how much that helps me because i get up and i don't think what have i got to do today and then end up like fannying around and not getting it done it means i actually like work towards taking them off and i get so much satisfaction highlighting off that i've done something i even put on these let me read you today's 6 a.m wake up one liter of water shower and get ready start filming what i eat in a day weekly vlog call with farah farah's my manager walk corby go for a run read gratitude shoot pick order skincare send links like so like, it's even little things like wake up shower like just because you feel accomplished if you're taking them things off every single day like you know you don't have to be running around like a maniac doing a million things in one day like we're in lockdown at the end of the day like don't put pressure on yourself but doing that makes me feel like i'm being so much more productive so yeah that's the next section and like i said i do that every single night before bed for the next day and then at the back i've just literally got plain paper just for like writing notes um jotting things down you know the drill so yeah that's my um that's where i'm at with my diary and like i said i've got another one coming which i'll show you when it comes um but this really works for me i like not having the pressure of having to do it every day like just doing it myself and putting the dates in myself which i really like so i wanted to really quickly show you that because i had quite a lot of questions when i showed it last time and on my instagram as well shall i show you some home updates now let me do a quick whiz around and tidy because I've just looked in the living room 
and it looks very messy with Corby's toys everywhere. So let me give it a quick whiz and then um, I'll show you a few little home updates as well. Okay, a first home update is that we now have our new couch. It is Corby. Honestly, look at the fluff everywhere. Do you have to do that when I'm filming? I honestly have a nutter of a dog. Um, it is so much bigger than our old couch. Let me come a bit closer so you can kind of see the material. It's like a creamy, nudie colour. Um, really nice material. And then it came with these pillows. So I really like these. I think they go nice. I'm not a fan of pink. So these are going to be going. But what I'm going to do is keep the pillows and just get a new um, cover for them. Like a nudie colour. Maybe even black. Um not like black black but you know what I mean like just something a bit darker and um, because I don't like pink so just ignore them for now but yeah this couch comes literally from here so we're thinking a nice little side table down there couch comes right around there this wall is so just blank and pale Um, I want a nice big mirror for there this is getting sold this is all changing this is all gone we're having like a media wall built out with the TV in there um we've also got these up on the wall now so these were my decennial prints which i showed you in a vlog before christmas so they're up on the wall looking gorgeous and then we've also got this one here this lamp is also going we're having a lot of changes but the main thing we were waiting for was the couch so i'm so glad that that is now in it's so comfy it's so cozy oh my god um and yeah we love it i need to also get a coffee table but i'm just i don't know what i want i think because that's there at the minute and that's not going to be there it's making me like i don't know i don't like it like it's too much going on but i need to remember that's not going to be there that's going to be a flat wall um and yeah i need a nice coffee table anyone has any ideas let me know because i'm stuck and we also have bought loads of paint for this room so let me show you them so we've picked up these testers from b q we've got um quite a few of the deluxe ones and then one of the faro and what's it called faro and ball ones i was going to say faro and ball but it's faro and ball um because these colors are potentially going to go in this room in the hallway in our bedroom we just don't want any white walls at all in the house because our last apartment was literally all white and we just want it to be nice and warm and cozy anyway so i got this one which how would you even say that natural Cal calicio caliso i don't know um almond white caramel latte egyptian cotton and then this one is off-white so they're all like nudie creamy colors um but as long as it's not a bright white that's all i want maybe in this vlog i'll test these on the wall with you guys um because we were going to look to get a painter in but i don't know if we can actually do that now we're in lockdown so we might have to wait which is annoying but it is what it is okay next home update is this radiator cover we hadn't done anything at all to like the front hallway bit um and there's a radiator there we need to get like a little side table for here um but I just thought that this looked so nice. I've just popped on top a Jo Malone diffuser and candle. Um, and the plan is to get a big round or square maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking round. A big round mirror to go above to paint it in one of the colours. I'm thinking maybe one of the darker ones for the whole way. And I've just popped them lanterns there. And then that was from Bean q Yeah, I think Bean q We also got that little doormat which is also from Bean q um, but yeah, this was kind of like the dumping ground, so that feels so much nicer now that that's actually got like some furniture in. And then the final home update is in the bedroom. We've now got them pictures up on the wall. And I finally replaced the really white, horrible clinical lampshades that came with this. Kobe, do you have to? It's as if he just follows me around with your toys trying to make a noise. Yes, you are good boy um so yeah finally replaced these these were also from b&q i wasn't expecting to get them from there but when we went the other day they had some really nice lampshades and these go perfectly with our bed they're like a creamy linen kind of effect and yeah they look so much better than the other ones and i can't wait to just paint in here oh my god to paint and make it again less white i also thought i'd just show you guys some bits that me and jordan got for christmas this year um everything that we got majority was just for me and jordan collectively and for the house as you know we've just moved into our new house so 
a lot of it was like homely bits um and yeah i thought i'd just show you a couple of bits because i like seeing what people got because i'm nosy and um people have asked me to include it in the vlog so let me show you a few little bits i'm not going to show it all but a couple of my favorite bits i will show so as adult as this may sound i honestly love this gift so we got these three little um like marble containers why do i never know the words for things um and they came on a little tray um and you can put like serving sauces or anything in them but we've just used them to have out chili flakes pepper and salt which i just think looks so nice on this marble tray from h&m we also got oils like is that officially adult when you get oils for christmas um but this one just looks really nice out and then that's a truffle oil which if you have watched previous vlogs you know that i love truffle um so yeah that was the first thing which i thought was really cute is that an okay setup i'm gonna say yeah why is that pillow there okay so a couple of gifts that we got for christmas which i loved are first of all we got this coffee table book which i've wanted for ages and it just matches our aesthetic in this new house so perfectly um this was from alex and andy they got us this and yeah i've had this just on top of there for now um but when we do finally get a coffee table i want it centre on there because yeah i just think it's gorge stuff like this like coffee table books i think are such nice gifts for people um because i don't know i just think they look so nice out i'm a big fan of coffee table books that was the first one and then we also got the white company coffee table book from my grandma um again i just think this looks so nice out and i've already had a little browse through this and it's just nice for home inspiration like some of the houses in here are just absolutely stunning like i can sit there and like just i was gonna say scroll that shows how much time we spend on our phones these days sit and like browse through this manifest that dream home one day so i love that again that will be nice on a coffee table when we finally get one um and then sticking to the book theme i got these two books off my auntie which is the life change and magic of not given a f and get your shit together so these two books you've probably seen them they're quite popular um i've seen them about and i've actually wanted to read them so i started this one last night and so far so good one of my new year's resolutions and like goals for january specifically is to read every night before bed instead of scrolling on my phone on instagram um and jordan is the same so when we get in bed we sit and read our books for a bit um like the old adults that we are and yeah that's my first one which i chose to read and then I've also got Mrs. Hinch's book, which I've heard is really good. Um, Jordan's mum got me this. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to reading this and finding out about this. I've just actually flicked to a page there and it says the truth about the trolls. She gets really bad trolled on like Instagram and stuff. So I'm looking forward to reading that and just finding out a bit more about her because I do love a little bit of Mrs. Hinch, I must say. Um, that was it on the book front. The next couple of bits are, I obviously got like, I got like makeup and bits, like just my bronzer that I use every day. My mum always like tops me up with them. Um, but these are a couple of like housey things that I thought I'd show you. So this is the Neon Organics Bedtime Hero Bath Form. Jordan's brother and his fiance got us this. She loves Neon as much as me. I actually got her a Neon candle for Christmas and she got me this, which just sums us up. We love a bit of self care. And it's basically a really nice bath form. She says it literally makes your bathroom smell like a spa. So I'm excited for that. Plus the bottle is really nice just to have like out on the um, bath tray and stuff as well. And then we got the White Company Seashells Candle. Is it going to focus? There we go. I love all White Company stuff. It's literally like probably my favourite home white brand that i love joe malone but white company i just feel has that i don't know i just love it so i've got the seashells candle um and we've also got one of the little candle trays um because my grandma and my nana all got me like vouchers for the white company so me and jordan can just buy stuff together for the house which is lovely and i really wanted the candle like the free standing candle to go in there but it wasn't in stock so we need to order that long story short i've got a candle plate to put a candle on um i also really wanted from the white company they had this big frame which is like a 72 photo, photo frame and um, it's all little squares 
and it just looks so nice and I really wanted that to put in just like photos of like me and Jordan and Kobe and family and things um but it's out of stock so I need to keep checking to see when it comes back in because I really really wanted it um and also from the white company I got their towel dress and gown I've wanted this for about three years now um and it was never in stock and I just never ended up getting it and I got it this year for Christmas. I got it in a size small. It is so oversized and cosy, honestly. When I get out of the shower, I put that on, wrap myself up, do my skincare, I feel like I'm in a hotel. The reason I wanted this is because it's like the towel material which you get in hotels. Um, and I really wanted a robe, which made me feel like I was in a hotel. I've got my hotel bedding and I've got my hotel robe. I'm just making this house a hotel, that's the vibe. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favourite present this Christmas because it's just so cosy and I live in my other dressing gown and I now live in this so I absolutely love that and then two last little bits which I actually just bought for me and Jordan myself it's not actually Christmas gifts is the Malton Brown diffuser and candle in our favourite scent which is sandalwood and cocoa is that right cocoa and sandalwood um it's actually our favourite scent ever we have a room spray um, which I tell Jordan you only allow to spray, spray it on special occasions but you know we spray it all the time and um, so I've got that in the diffuser form I haven't got it out yet because I haven't got anywhere to put them like we've got full diffusers in every room um, and I want to keep them you know until I get my coffee table which everything else is going on this coffee table is going to be very full and then I also got us like the matching candle oh my god honestly it's the best smell ever I absolutely love it so much um so yeah that's just a couple of little gifts and home updates to show you okay guys me and Kobe have came for a nice long walk I've got my airpods I've got my audio book which I'm listening to um which is manifest now and we're gonna go for a nice 5k aren't we son just go for a walkies you good boy good morning everybody how are we all it is now Thursday, I haven't spoke to you for a few days, um, I was filming a What I Eat In A Day, which is already live, so go and watch that if you are interested in What I Eat In A Day. And I've just been in the house doing stuff really, I haven't really had anything interesting to show, but I'm just getting ready this morning and thought I would show you the dressing gown on which I showed you in the last clip potentially, at some point in this vlog. Um, so this is the White Company one, I fold up the sleeves just because they are quite long. Um, but you can see it is really oversized and long and literally so cosy. I put it on as soon as I come out of the shower basically every day and then wear it until I put clothes on and I'm not sorry about it. Um, plan of action today is to shoot some photos. I'm going to have a bit of a wardrobe organisation because my drawers are just looking a bit full and overflowing and I feel like it's a new year. I need to clear them out, get rid of some stuff. Um, and I literally wrote in my diary, be savage, because I need to let go of things and stop having emotional ties to a pair of leggings. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. I've also updated my vision board. I might show you a little bit of that, but it is quite private. But I might show you a little, like, snippet of it. Um, and yeah, that's the plan of action for today. So just to show you what I do when I am making a vision board, I have got a full video for this, um which I'll link in the description as well, so I won't go into too much detail, but I always start on Pinterest. I don't know why they're all pictures of hair. Apparently, I've been looking at a lot of pictures of really long, lush hair. Um, but yeah, I start on Pinterest, save like quotes like this, save photos that like, are like personal to me, well not personal, but that I think like are inspiring. And then I'll save them all and I use the application Canva to put them all into like a big aesthetically pleasing vision board um i'm not going to show you mine exactly but like i said go and watch that video if you want any help or advice because i do show how i make them on there let me pop you on my shelf slash tripod um honestly it's so frosty and cold out there today like everything's white and it just looks so fresh i honestly love weather like this when you're cozy in the house however when you've got to go outside not a vibe unless you're going for a walk and you're wrapped up in your hand scarf and gloves that's the only time i like it i've just made my smoothie um this recipe is on again my what i eat in a day but i've been having this literally every morning for breakfast and 
I love it. I do need to get some protein to put in it, um, just to bulk up like the calories and stuff, but it's delish. So since like the main focus of this vlog is like getting back on track in New Year, being motivated, staying positive through these crazy times, I thought I would show you another little thing which I use every single day. You're not going outside, Corby, it is too cold. And every time I stand here, he wants to go outside. Um, but this is the five minute journal. I got mine from Amazon, um, but you can get it from Anthropology, I think some other websites. I will definitely link it down below wherever it's in stock. And there's also some other versions um, which are cheaper. They're basically the same thing inside, but they're like half the price. So I'll leave them linked as well. But I just love this one and it does look nice and as silly as it sounds. I like something that looks aesthetically pleasing. So let me show you what's inside. Every page is the exact same. Um, and essentially it is just like this. And you put the date at the top and this section is for a morning and then you do this on the night. So the first section is I'm grateful for, and you write three things you're grateful for on a morning. And then what would make today great, three things that would make today great, and daily affirmations. And then on the night time, it's three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today better. Honestly, I love doing this and sometimes I forget to do it and I fall off, like I don't do it religiously. But when I do do it, it just reminds me what I'm grateful for, aligns me with my manifestations, what I'm looking forward to, what my goals are, you want to know how I feel about, all that type of stuff. If you ever want to talk about it, DM me and we can talk for hours about stuff like that. Um, but yeah, really, really nice, really cute. And it's just an easy way of doing it without having to kind of think about what you're doing. Like this is easy. I just follow the steps, write them down and then I'm done and I put it away and I start my day. I try and do this like with my morning coffee on the morning or with my morning smoothie. Um, and yeah, really really like this like i said i'll leave it linked down below we have also put the samples on the wall yesterday um so these are them all on it's crazy how different they look when they're on the wall compared to in the um like on the color sheet and we've put them all here because obviously this is like one of the main walls in the living room where we've got pictures so we want it to match really well um but at the minute this one was just an absolute fail it was like so watery and wouldn't do anything this for me looks too much like plaster or clay um but our favorite is this one which is natural calicio from deluxe um obviously not a very good paint job jordan literally just did it and then he did another coat this morning um but that at the minute is my favorite for this room just because it's light it matches with the colors in there matches with like our couch and stuff um so that's definitely our favorite but i do want a darker wall in the hallway so i'm thinking this one which is egyptian cotton um on camera it's looking a bit cool but it's more like a warm beigey color and i did like this which is fur and balls um off white but it's just looking a little bit too like green and khaki so i don't know um but yeah that's the samples we also need to do them in the bedroom and see which one but i do just think at the minute that's the only one that i'm sorry your camera's not even on it that's the only one that i mainly like in egyptian cotton so i need to probably go and get some more testers and see what i think guys look how gorgeous this like loungewear pajama set is that boo avenue just sent me it's got like boo lounge there i'm not joking it is the softest thing ever you know that material that is literally like so soft the top's like a really cute crossover so it's not like you know sometimes when you want to wear cute loungewear um, not like an oversized hoodie and joggers and look like a convict. Um, these are like really nice skinny leg joggers with a cuff at the bottom. Nice silk ties and a really cute top. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to be living in them perfect just in time for lockdown number three. Good evening guys. How are we all? Please excuse how pale I am. Throughout this whole vlog I've realised I didn't feel like tan. I was meant to today. It didn't happen. It is what it is. I have had such a productive day in the house today. I've literally sorted my whole wardrobe out. I've basically got three big bags which I send to e-bloggers to sell all my stuff. Um, which I think they're getting picked up next week. So they'll be online maybe in the next two weeks. I will leave links. I always leave it on my Instagram. And I'll leave a link down below for my e-bloggers where all my stuff is sold. Um, and keep your eyes peeled on that. Because I honestly have sent so much stuff. Like so much stuff um i had a really big clear out and it feels amazing um my hair is full of 
oil from like slicking my hair back and gel so that's why it looks like this i swear i'm not disgusting it's literally gel um however it, i am due a hair wash tomorrow and i put on my instagram a couple of days ago how much my hair had grew in the last lockdown and that my goal for this lockdown is to grow it again because i got it cut like quite a lot off i literally it was down to like probably there just below my boobs after the first lockdown and i got it all cut so my goal is to grow it again um and i had quite a few people messaging me asking me to share my hair care routine and share what i did if you've already seen this then apologies um but people are asking so i'm going to show it so on my roots i use castor oil i literally get this from amazon it's about six pound i will leave it linked down below for you um i just put some on my hand like so rub it together it's really sticky really sticky and then just massage it into the roots like this and really massage it because that is supposed to like stimulate your hair to grow as well so give it a good massage in i always do this day before hair wash day because obviously you add an oil to your hair it's very oily and very sticky and don't use too much because i had I made the big mistake of using too much and um, it took me like five hair washes to get it on my hair like it was just constantly greasy um, but yeah keep adding more if you need to and then massaging it into your roots I've used castor oil for years now um, I use it on my eyebrows my eyelashes and it is literally probably like my holy grail like I absolutely love it so once I've done that I then choose out of any hair mask for the rest of my hair. Um, I'm going to use today the Coco and Eve one. This is one that I got sent. It's like a little sample. Super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. It smells amazing. I've used it a few times now and I've actually still got some left. So I'm going to use that. But before I do that, I'm just going to use this. So in here is the Vatika hair oil, which is coconut and castor oil. You can get that also on Amazon. I'll link that down below. I put it in this because it's easier to distribute because this is a lot thinner and less like sticky than the pure castor oil. Um, and this, again, I do my roots just to further enhance hair growth. Um, sometimes I'll put this all over my hair if I really want to do like a deep hair mask, but tomorrow I do want to style my hair so I don't want it to be too like soft and greasy potentially. So just gonna it's not even open oh, is that right I'm just gonna spray that into my roots you can see it's like much more watery i look so stunning when i do this jordan is such a lucky man isn't he everybody especially when i'm this pale i literally look like santa claus what on earth is going on um so yeah a little bit of that in make sure that my roots are all covered in the oil and then I will go in with the Coco and Eve. Like I said, I'll link all these products down below. Um, but last lockdown, honestly, I can't even tell you how much my hair grew. Like, my hair felt so healthy and shiny. My hair's like, over the past year, I've probably got in the best condition that it's ever been in. And I'm really happy with where it's at. Like, I feel like my hair is really healthy and shiny. And I put that down to actually, like, invest in time into my hair care not even money because them two products are from amazon and they're really cheap um but investing time into like doing a mask once a week granted i don't do a mask once a week when normal life is about however um lockdown life make the most of it so i will sleep in this as well um just make sure to put a towel on your pillow to prevent it from getting all over your pillowcase but i'll tend to wash my pillowcase after i do it anyway just get the last of this out this is basically gone i'm definitely going to buy a pot of this by the way it's very nice um and yeah i'm just going to massage all that through my hair then i'll show you what i do okay so this bit is key make sure that you have a separate tangle teaser for your hair masks because if you use this on your hair with a hair mask and then use it on your clean hair, you're just going to pull like excess product through and um, it's just going to make your hair greasy straight away. So this is my specific hair mask tangle teaser and I'm just going to scrape it all back, honestly, not going to lie, my favourite feeling in the world probably is scraping my hair back into a bun in a hair mask 
and just sitting there it's the best thing ever you feel so clean okay so once that's all brushed through i'm just gonna like i said scrape it back into a nice bun give me a minute i definitely find it easier to flip your head upside down by the way top tip from me get it all scraped up into a nice high bun twist it not too tight because you're going to sleep in it and you don't want to break your hair hair bubble in and there we have it that is literally my hair care routine which i'll try and do once a week through lockdown and i swear it keeps your hair so shiny so healthy and helps it grow so i'm probably going to end this vlog here um jordan is currently making me a nice sweet potato chickpea curry i think and i'm very excited but i hope you enjoyed the first vlog back of 2021 and take care of yourself through this lockdown i will be here to provide videos and a lot of just self-care we've just got to look after ourselves that is my motto of this lockdown make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and i will see you in the next one Bye.